Hola, mis conejitos. ¿Cómo estás? Mi amo Alicia. Hello, my bunnies. How are you? My name is Austin, and today we are playing Alibi and Ashes. If ever I am randomly singing or I am just, like, not sounding like my usual perky self, it is because I am recording pretty late. I am super tired. I want to say Jack up the guy's favorite line and, and just do sleep is for the week, but... Uh, no, sleep is not for the weak. If you don't get any sleep, you you can't malfunction very well. <laughs> oh, I need my sleep. Okay. Anyways, guys, I am actually, I haven't played this game in a while, and I haven't played this game on Senior Detective, I don't think, ever. So, this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so, I'm actually kind of at a loss because we've already called her dad quite a few times. Um, let's see, what about? Uh, the fire alarm, Tony, and I think one other thing, but I forgot what it was. And we can't seem to progress anything with her dad unless we do something else in the game. And I've already forgotten what that was. But I'm sure it's going to be mentioned if we call Ned. Nope, guess not. I'm okay. passing the case to you, Ned. Ned, reporting for duty. Dook -dook. All right. Well, I wonder if she's already given us the task. So what I'm going to do is go to Nancy's house. And I hope he says something when I do this. Nope, guess not. Okay, whatever. It still cracks me up that you can't get sick eating all of these. You used to be able to. Yum. <laughs> Yum. Whatever, dude. Okay. Um, I wonder would we have to get information from here? No, I guess not. Okay. One other thing that we did in the previous video was that we were able to get a sample uh, from the Old Town Hall uh, from its point of origin, where the fire started. And we managed to uh, analyze that sample, and we now have, like, the results of it, but we don't know what it means. We need some sort of chart or something to help us figure out what it means. Uh, so... And I'm pretty sure that what we have to do is call her dad about that. But something actually needs to happen in the game for us to be able to do that. For the life of me, I can't remember what that was. But I'm sure we'll find out. I am going to go to the antiques store and see if there's anything new in the chat. Hello. Tony thinks that you're bitter about what happened to you. Well, of course I am. You would be too. And that you're jealous of Nancy. Stop <laughs> right there. If you're going where I think you are. I really want to hit say okay because I want to stay friends with him. But the matter is we kind of need to press the subject because otherwise we're not going to get the evidence that we need. She suggested that you might be angry enough to take it out on Nancy for having everything that you don't. Get out. Get out of my store. Now! Yes, sir. Can we play this again? Actually, wait, no. I don't have the brain capacity for that right now. <laughs> I'm way too tired. Oi. Great to see you again. Mm -hmm. I understand that you were upset that Nancy ruined your big story about the antiquities of the ancient world show. Yes, I was, but that's the business. I lose stories constantly. Yeah, but There's no that such thing big. as a solid story until it hits the airwaves. And even then... Wouldn't you want to get back at Nancy after she ruined your big debut? I did. And then I got over it. Or Do you have any clue how busy really? I am? I don't even have the energy to hold a grudge. And if I did, I'd never have time to do anything about it. Uh-huh. I don't believe it for a second. Why were you at the antique store? Trying to get some background on Alexi. Didn't go all that well. 
Why not? Yeah, I think you, he's not I a think fan you press of the wrong media. Buttons. And he's cranky and he's old. And I broke one of his things on accident and he would not let it go. <laughs> Sucker! You've impersonated Nancy in the past, haven't you? Possibly. I've done some crazy things to get a story. It's part of the job. How crazy? Yeah. I can't give away my methods. A lot of what I do is setting up a trap and seeing if anyone falls for it. And when they do... Wham! Wham! See you at 11 because you just got nined. Sure. It's not exactly news. Nope. It's better. It's actually interesting. Up your ziggy with a wild bar brush. That's a better phrase. Deirdre said she <laughs> intercepted a note intended for Nancy. What do you mean? She was following Nancy and snagged the note. So someone was trying to lure Nancy to the fire with a note? Yes, exactly. What's to say she didn't write the note herself? I've seen that sort of thing before. What's to say she did? Basic logic. I couldn't possibly be guilty. Look at this note that anyone could have written. It's desperate. Um, she's actually really good at that. I wonder what other acting jobs she's had. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was, that was almost believable. I wish... I, I think I know what that is. I think those are her business cards. I really want to get one, but... Eh. Um... Can... Eh. Eh. Sorry, I... If you know what I'm referring to when I make that sound, I love you. But for anyone else, greetings. Be good that you don't. <laughs> if everything is so bad be for you here, you why don't. didn't you leave? I could have run away, but this is where my life was taken away from me. This is the only place I could one day get it back. Suppose so. Bye. Until next time. Suppose so. <sighs> Hey, yo. I'm kind of at an impasse here. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. Give me Nancy. Actually, wait. Hello. Okay. Brenda is doing some pretty aggressive reporting on Nancy. No joke. We've got to wrap things up before she can do any more damage. Why has Brenda singled out Nancy as the prime suspect? Brenda will do anything to get her face on television. True. Nancy's big news in this town. Most people here at least know someone that she's helped out. The other suspects don't have the name recognition. Are you sure it isn't something else? I'm really not. The two of them have their history. This could be a personal vendetta, too. True. You've seen her undercover pieces. She's brutal. I'm starting to worry that we might not be able to do enough to get Nancy out of jail. No, I feel the same way, but we can't afford to be worried right now. Nancy needs us more than ever. Let's keep pushing forward on the case no matter what. Got it. Goodbye. See you later. Bess. What's up? Guess Thanks. Not. Bye. Talk to you later. Alright. Uh, wait. Considering... Yeah, we have we not? We haven't. White Wolf. Sepson Island. No. Ooh. No. Too quiet. <laughs> you know what? That actually would fit with Castle Malloy. <laughs> Way too funny. <laughs> you should take over. I'm on the case. I don't want to switch characters yet. I really want to. Nope, it's gonna. Hello? Oh, hello. What do I do if I can't clear my name? Don't worry about that right now. It's a little hard not to. Right. If it comes to that, you let me worry about the court proceedings. I'm not going to let anything bad happen to you. I don't. I guess I'm lucky that I have a prosecutor for a father. 
And I'm lucky to have a daughter who only rarely goes to jail. Whatever. Dad. Okay, I'll upgrade it to almost never. Yeah. Don't worry. You're not guilty and you've got me in your corner. We'll get through this. I don't think they would let him take Nancy Drew as his client, considering it'd be a conflict of interest. I need help interpreting some sample data. All right. Oh, why did I click that? I have data from a gas chromatograph, but I don't know what the output means. I think I may have just the thing you need at the office. I'll have it dropped off to your friends just to be sure it gets to you. Perfect. I'll have my friends keep an eye out on the fireplace mantle for the delivery. Oh, Thanks. I thought that would end the conversation. How's I Hannah doing? Couldn't remember. She's so sorry she couldn't be here for you. She said she's rushing back home. I told her that we'd take care of things, but you know how she is. Oh, yeah. So, what did you find out about the alarm system? You're right. It was switched off. According to my friend at Heights Security, the alarm was disabled on site at 2.17 the afternoon of the fire. Yes! That this progresses you the game. You bet it does. Thanks. I should get going. I'll see you soon. Okay, so we're actually going to call George because I know she has a fingerprint kit too. Hi. I just spoke to my dad. He said the alarm at Town Hall was disabled at 2.17 the day of the fire. Can you check everybody's alibi at that time? You bet. We'll figure out where everyone was when the alarm was disabled. Wow, I forgot how good her voice is. Your turn to take over. I'm on the case. Okay, uh, so let, um, let's talk to Bess. <laughs> let's see if there's something different. We need to check up on Deirdre's alibi. You got it. I have no idea what to do. We need to find everyone's alibi, like Nancy said. So let's go talk to them and find out what they were doing yesterday. Goodbye. Got it. Bye. All right. Alrighty, daddy. So, um, 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 let's go to Scoop. We're not gonna worry about Deirdre because Ned's gonna take care of that. Hello. How can I help you? Bye. <sighs> really? Bye. Really? Hey! Where were you at 2.17 on the day of the fire? I was out on the clues challenge. Same as you. Don't believe me? Call Jessica, 555-2741. Or Holly, 555-6388. Fake numbers! On the way! Yeah. So, any number, any phone number with the prefix 555, they're all fake. You Goodbye. can't really call them See to find ya. out if they're real or not. It's pointless. It's fake. <laughs> okay, so now can we ask her? Hi, welcome. What can I get for you? What the Bye. Heck? Goodbye. So, data delivered to the house. Okay. All right. Um, can we? What's up? Guess Goodbye. That. See ya. See ya. All right. Let us go to and think sword. Oh, I almost forgot. And I actually will sh sh uh, show you guys in a few minutes because it is so cool. Hello. Where were you before you saw the fire? At around 2 p.m. I was going to talk over at the River Heights Historical Society. Uh-uh. What was the talk about? We were talking about the time capsule. Not that that matters now that it's been burned to a crisp. I don't believe that either. It was either. due to be opened at the Anvil Days Festival. You should know this. The winner of the Clues Challenge gets to add something of their own when it's resealed. The talk you said you were giving at the Historical Society was cancelled. What are you talking about? It never happened. Where were you really? <laughs> it was not cancelled. I showed up, I gave my talk, there was a reception, then I left. Same as always. That's not what I heard. Yeah. What you heard was wrong. So why don't you just butt out? Why were you really at the Old Town Hall? I wasn't. I was just passing by. We have evidence mm. that you were there. What were you doing? I was trying to open the time capsule. Why? That's none of your business. I know. I didn't start the fire. I don't have to put up with this harassment. Oh my gosh. You don't. But she's not 
trying to harass you. She's just trying to get to the bottom of things. Oh, I so want to call you a name, but I, I'm supposed to like you. Oh. So infuriating. Hello. Where were you around two on the day of the fire? Live and on the scene, as usual. I'm pretty sure most of the town saw the broadcast, and this story is on the fast track to national coverage. You didn't answer my question. I'm sorry, I'm working on a lead. I have to work on my notes. Hi. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Uh-huh. Whatever. Give me that journal. Alexi lied about where he was during the time leading up to the fire. The talk he said he was at had been cancelled. Brenda wouldn't say where she was when the alarm was tampered with. There must be some other way to figure out what she was up to. And there is! So infuriating! It's going nowhere! <sighs> Let's... Oh, right, we gotta call these two. Uh, so, here's the thing. These two are actually pretty cool people. Um, I think she's the bimbo and this is the emo. I can't quite remember. Either that or it's the opposite. Uh, but here's the thing. They both have the same conversations. It doesn't matter. It actually kind of matters what order you pick them because the first one is going to be the serious and the second one is going to be the jokeful. Ha ha ha. Oops. Did I just spill that? Yeah, no. Let's go Holly first. Hello? Hi, Deirdre Shannon gave me your number. Can I ask you a quick question? Um, sure. Where were you yesterday around 2 p.m.? Hanging out with my friends. Who was there? Deirdre and Jessica. We were working on the clues challenge. Are you sure about that? Positive. You can ask Jessica if you want. Okay. Thanks for your help. Bye. I did not expect an emo voice for Holly. Okay. Excuse me. Hello? Hi. Hi. Deirdre gave me your number. Can I ask you a quick question? Um, sure. Where were you yesterday around 2 p.m.? Working on the clues challenge. Who was there? It was me and Holly. What about Deirdre? Ha! She was supposed to be there. Ended up coming hours later, as usual. What do you mean by that? Huh. Don't tell her I said this, but she's not a very good team member. She's never where she says she's gonna be. She's always running around and she'll never say where she's been. I shouldn't have said that. Don't tell her I said that. Oh, I have to go. Sure. And this actually would have been, if you had chosen Jessica first and then Holly, conversations would have been switched. All right, well. <sighs> I'll let you go. Bye. Hmm. So let us actually. Oops. Uh, Deirdre was lying about where she was yesterday. Even her friends wouldn't back her up, or at least one of them wouldn't. Um. All right. Let's call Nancy. Switch, and then ba bum. Hello. Alexi lied about his alibi. That means he's a priority suspect. Keep a close eye on him and try to figure out what he would gain by burning down Town Hall. He wouldn't. It's your turn. Nancy Drew taking over. He actually wouldn't gain anything. Um, meeting canceled. So she was working. Can't confirm. All right. Uh, let us call Carson, and then we're gonna call Ned. Hi. All right. I need Nothing. to go. Talk to you soon. Take care. Oh boy. Come on, Ned. What's up? Nothing? I need you to take over. Time to help Nancy. It seems like your friends aren't as confident about where you were as you seem to think they'd be. Between you and me, they're kind of dumb. Ouch! 
I'm That's called not for. That's a very nice thing to say about your friends. You talk to them or something, right? I'm not wrong. Anyway, we're not for real friends. Excuse me? They're still in the 90-day trial period. I can return them in their original packaging at any time. That is stereotyping. That is rude as heck. I want to smack her face. Thanks. Bye. See ya. Ouch. Just ouch. Why am I stuck? <laughs> Alexi's alibi is not holding up. We should keep pushing him for information if we can. Or you guys should. <laughs> Bye. See ya. <laughs> we already pressed him. Ugh. Okay. <sighs> I do want to show you guys something, though. Um, where is it? Marvin home. Yeah, that's that's it. Marvin home. That is Bess's house. Oh, hello now. Hi there. Gosh, it's so good to see ya. You keep up the good work now, dear. <laughs> Dude, I think that was Lonnie Manoa. Uh, where... Where's the Faye house? Faye the house. Oh my gosh. Hi there. Oh, it's great to see you guys. Now you keep working on that okay, case no, and that's oh, Lonnie. drop by anytime. I want to hear Togo. One of these houses has Togo. And it is so nice to hear a dog barking when you visit. Guess not. Alright. <laughs> I am super dumb. I am supposed to be Ned, because Ned was the one who picked up the What's note, up? right? I completely forgot about the note. I'm passing the case to you, Ned. Ned, reporting for duty. Yeah, he has the notes. Oh my gosh, I am so freaking dumb. The note was the first thing I was supposed to do, too. Oh my gosh, I'm dumb. <laughs> this looks like a good place to dust the note. Yep. Oh boy. Yeah. So what we do is we pick up the brush... Dust it with the black powder. Ba bam. And now we pick up the tape and then we pick up a clean print. Yes, got it. Ah, oh, it's only a parcel print. All right. So, since it's a parcel print, we need to figure out whose it is. Which means we gotta bring it to Nancy. Because. If we remember, if I remember correctly, the police station has a fingerprint scanner. Oh my! All right, let's put it in here. I zoink. Can you put this in here yet? Yes. Okay. Booyah! A booyah! I I I oh! What's up? I'm sure that's not how a duck or a goose sounds. I'm turning the case over to you. Nancy Drew, taking over. Maybe a Canadian goose, since since this is uh, Seattle, Washington. Uh, I'm not saying that's where River Heights is, but um, that's where her interactive is located. Uh, 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 uh. Oink. All right. With this, yeah. Um, actually, wait, we will put it with Deirdre. Poink. Okay. And we do this, uh, here. Yeah. Ow, ba bunk. Yeah. No matches. And look, there are four slots for one per character is, yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing here. <laughs> so, uh, 
there was no match. Does that put is put in here? No. So we need to call. Um. You know what? Let's give Bess her fingerprint case. I got a partial fingerprint from the note Ned got from Deirdre. Yeah. If we can get a match against one of the suspects, I might be able to get out. Can you find a way to get prints from everyone? Yes, we'll get right on it. It's your turn to take the case. I'm on the case. Yes, on the case. Oh! I am super excited that Bess is getting her case. Alright, so this is... I think this is actually where I'm gonna stop, guys. It's already been a while. Um, no. And... ba bam So, I am gonna save here. Yes. And... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy! So, what do you guys think? I mean, I feel like we're about to hit the climax of the game. Almost. One of the things that I'm constantly doing now in the behind the scenes stuff is that I'm taking out my laughs. My laughs sound so weird. And as much as I like it when you guys hear me laugh, I don't like it when I hear me laugh. Is that bad? <laughs> I'm so insecure. <sighs> okay, me stopping the complaining now. Rock on dudes and dudettes and non-binary dude. And non-binary uh, duds. Ooh, that's a good one. Because you're not a dude or a dudette. You're a dud. Ha! Ah! That's smart thinking there. Sort of. Because you're also calling them boring. And I know you're not boring. At least most of you. We're all cool and special in our own freaking way. That's, that's what they say, right? <laughs> that's what I'm saying, too. I'm sorry, guys, for being disrespectful right now. I'm just super tired. All right, as I said, complaining ends now. Oh, boy. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and stop here and then go to bed. Oh, my freaking gosh. <laughs> uh, I hope I helped you all at least a little bit. If not, something's wrong. I need an update in the membrane. And I also hope you enjoyed this video. If so, smash that button like a rabbit would. And if you're new to this channel and you're just now checking out this video, are you insane in the membrane? Check out the rest of my videos on my channel. They're awesome. Well, most of them anyways. And also hit that ugly, ugly red subscribe button and make it that beautiful, beautiful gray, whitish color. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I... Hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Rascally Rabbit saying goodbye. Stay awesome and stay on YouTube. Do I want to do the coconut song again? No. I want to sing as the power of hallow. The power of hallow. The power of hallow. Power is deep within. Power is yours to hold. That song, surprisingly, I did not get a copyright strike on my on my other channel. That is very surprising. So, I'm kind of taking advantage of that and actually earning some money off it. <laughs> bad, bad me.